All right, legends. So I'm going to give you a little update here on the the whole cutting smoking thing. Um, it's been ages since I actually got on for a little update here. I've been doing some of my other videos, some of the scripted stuff that it was just easy to put the the computer on, read it, edit it, get it, you know, record it, put together, up, keeping that motivational thing going. But these videos here were just it's not scripted. It's just off the cuff. Uh, explain what's happening. I just have not had the energy to properly do this because I've been so out of sorts. I'm going to be completely honest with you, brutally honest. When it comes to quitting smoking, I had absolutely no idea what I was going to be in for. I've tried it a few times with the patches before having the inhaler and everything. Got so far and um, fell off the wagon started smoking again but um this is actually now the longest i have gone yet without any nicotine coming into my system so sunday passed this is tuesday no sorry this is wednesday actually this is wednesday night sunday passed was one full week without actually having a patch on or using the inhaler taking any nicotine into the system uh first time i've done that absolute nightmare was not prepared for it whatsoever so what sunday seven days monday tuesday wednesday <laughs> this is the 10th day i actually had to count up those three that, that's how bad my system is out of whack right now i honestly the I was not prepared for the the migraine that was going to hit me once I actually stopped taking nicotine. Um, uh, wasn't smoking, I've done that before, but I still had the patch on. I was under the impression that it was okay, that it was coming off it nicely, but nothing prepares you for that day, few days where you just I have no no patch, no inhaler, nothing coming in. Oh gosh, I am I know I'm rambling right now. But the sleep is gonna be if you're gonna take anything from this video, take this. Sleep is gonna be your best friend whenever you're coming off the nicotine. That migraine is gonna hang about for a while. So I suppose it depends on your system. They say it could take a couple of weeks for it to actually all go out of your system all together. So I now, even though I'm into the 10th day, I'm giving myself at least to this Sunday to uh, feel the worst of the, the effects that's going to happen here. I think I'm over the worst of it right now, but that first week, the first four days in particular, the... the the migraine, the headaches, was insane. Probably some of the worst I've ever felt in my life. Um, I came home in the evenings and for at least four days straight. If I wasn't at work, I was at home in bed asleep, just trying to, you know, get past that. I took the four days for it to start easing off. And if I'm going to be brutally honest, even now, ten days in. I'm still kind of feeling a little bit of migraine here, a little bit of headache, sort of. But you see in behind there for those first few days, it's almost like someone had your head that gripped on a vice. Absolute disaster. So, if like me, um, you don't have a partner, you're free, single, living your best life. You don't have any partner about you. You have the, the freedom to lie down sleep and get the worst of that over you you know that is going to be you know you're lucky if that is the case but if you have a partner if you've got a girlfriend boyfriend whatever it may be you're married whatnot what i would recommend for you to do is actually take a week book yourself in a hotel and get away from everybody you're going to be fighting with your own shadow within those first four to five days so <laughs> tell your partner let them watch this video with you just say look i want to quit smoking 
I want to get the chance to do this and do it properly. Um, nobody is going to appreciate you sleeping every evening away. Uh, that just it is what it is. Uh, unless you've got a really understanding partner. But having said that, I've been there, done that. I've been married before. I know what the score is. You know, you need to pull your weight in a partnership or in a marriage, whatever it is that you have. And you're not going to be doing that for the first four to five days. Maybe that full week. There's going to be arguments right there, so get it out there. In the open, at the very start, you know, I'm going to try to stop smoking here. I need to go do this. I need to go sleep. I need to get out of everybody's hair for your own good. For me for your good as well as my own I need to not be here so that's the big piece of advice I would give you advice the sleep is your best friend book a hotel go to your work in the morning go to that hotel sleep in the evening get it out of your system you know you are going to be very very hard to live with and I know for a fact that if I was living with someone there would have been a lot of arguments and fights happening that first week. Um, actually, that weekend, there's a friend of mine, my best friend, and I hang out together. At the weekends, we normally do a Saturday. We work in the same place. Usually have a chat on the phone every night. Uh, but that's first Saturday. Uh, just like, I'm not doing it. We're not hanging out this Saturday, we'll try and do a couple of hours on the Sunday, but you know, just that is what it is. Slap that whole Saturday again. Uh having said that now, this week so far hasn't been as bad as last week. The the cravings have settled down quite a bit. Having said that today now I had a few moments where if I had been offered a cigarette I would have taken it without a doubt uh, still struggling really badly at the moment but not quite as bad as last week the the cravings are settling <laughs> but the the moods aren't uh, great at the moment like there, there could be a few fights this week I would think you know thank goodness there's only two days left of the weekend uh, but at work this week there's been a few moments there we've, we've had a few uh, colorful conversations with a few people let's just put it that way there's no real arguments and fighting but there's been a few moments where it's just like you need to turn and walk the heck away from me right now and just give me some space <laughs> that is what it is that's a nightmare absolutely hate it uh, but I'm glad that I'm starting to get over it the worst of it here but you know uh, the other thing I will tell you after everything I've gone through the first four days of that migraine too sore to stay awake I just had to sleep um, getting over that fifth sixth day not so bad now up into the tenth day that's all starting to ease off the cravings aren't just as bad as they were, but having gone through all that there, suffering, and, you know, you would think after those four to five days of that migraine, you would think that now I would be saying to myself, I'm over the worst of it. Thank goodness I'm not going to smoke again. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to stand here full you full of nonsense. I could quite easily left the cigarette and have a smoke right now there is I'm not, I'm not I'm not even gonna try to tell you I know the exact details here but you know that addiction is one of the I think now tobacco is in like the, the top three maybe top four of the most addictive substances in the face of the planet I think I'm right in having said that there I don't wanna close it down to like top three top two but it's definitely in the top four that's insane you know you think when you get through that sort of stuff you're, you you get over those initial speed bumps of that migraine and whatnot you're not going to look back i could quite easily fall off the wagon again not going to lie 
it is ridiculous it's one of these things that's going to be a lifetime struggle for me i'm not going to sugarcoat it to myself i'm not going to you know say that this is it i'm here i've got over the worst of it i've got nothing to worry about you know i probably will fall again i'm not going to lie but i'm going to try my hardest not to in all fairness i'm as i'm probably the most uh you know that's how far my head's out at the moment i can't even get some of the words that i want to say here uh commitment i'm commit that's it <laughs> i'm probably the most committed to quitting smoking as i've ever been but uh that first week all sleeping the second week is kind of broken sleep that's that's a disaster <laughs> trying to get yourself to that place where your system is settling down not quite there yet but here's hoping hopefully this video made sense to you guys the battery died at one point in the middle of this here and i had to start talking again so i probably repeated a lot of stuff uh that is what it is guys stay safe i will talk to you in the next video and hopefully we'll get some of that exercise started in the next few days because once the system has settled down that's what we're doing that's where we're going we're going to try to get this breathing back in order get exercising lose the weight start toning and bring the sexy back